Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes in geometry the notation can get very confusing and unless we understand exactly what the notation means we sometimes misinterpret it. So here again talking about congruent and two lines being congruent how do we notate that? How, what notation do we use? So when two line segments have the same length we call them congruent. They don't need to be parallel. So here we have a line segment, segment AB and a line segment CD. And by inspection you can see that yes, they appear to have the same length. So if the length of segment, line segment AB is the same as the length of line segment CD, we could then claim that AB equals CD. So when we write it like that, we mean the length of line segment AB equals the length of line segment CD. AB indeed represents the length between A and B and CD represents the length between C and D. However, if we write it like this, the line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD, then we can say that the line segment AB, we write an equal sign with a little squiggle line on top, the line segment CD. This symbol here means congruent and that simply implies that those two line segments have the same length. Here we explicitly write that the length of AB is equal to the length of CD. The length of line segment AB is equal to the length of line segment CD. Subtle differences, different notation. Another way in which we can write a notation where we can see two line segments being the same length is by making a little tick mark in there and a little tick mark in there. So here we can see we have a line segment from A to B and a line segment from B to C. And again, by inspection, you can see they appear to be the same length. We can show that they're the same length by making a little tick mark there. Then if we have another two line segments, let's say we have a line segment from D to E to F, for example, like this. So let's say this is D, this is E, and this is F. And if we want to show that the line segment from D, D, E is equal to the line segment uh, e, F, then we can put two little tick marks here indicating that these have the same length and that these have the same length and that this length is not the same as here so we use a different kind of tick mark. So those are some of the ways in which in geometry we can make notation indicating they have the same length or indicating they are congruent. So here you would say that the line segment AB is congruent to line segment BC so we can write that AB line segment is congruent to line segment BC. So that's how we can use different notation to imply certain things in geometry and when it, talks, when it comes to congruency this is how we do it.